What's up YouTube? Today I'll be doing a review of the Kershaw CQC 7K. This Kershaw knife is actually designed by Ernie Emerson of Emerson Knives. Apparently he wanted to bring out a knife that was more affordable to the general public. Most of his knives can range from $150 to $200 in that ballpark. Some may find that to be expensive. I don't. I don't know. Um, yeah. So Ernie designed these blades. I think there's seven of them in this series. I'm not positive. Um, but this is the CQC Seven. Okay. Uh, what we have here is a modified Tonto blade. I guess the uses would be for slicing, punching. Whatever. Usually Tonto is a very good piercing design. Um, the blade has two finishes. I don't know if you can tell that or not. Um, the upper portion is a satin finish, while the lower here is a stonewash finish on the grind. The handle's front right here is a G10 which I feel offers decent traction not superior but it does offer decent grip and the back side to save money I guess they went with stainless steel just a stainless back now all Emerson's high-end knives they all have G10 on both sides obviously this is a, a frame lock design The uh, pocket clip, as you can see here, is reversible. Left side or right side carry. There's no assist to this blade. It's all manually opening. And you can use it in several ways. The thumb disc here is the most common. Whereas Emerson's design, he, he features on many of his knives called the Wave, this little piece right here. What happens is that goes into your pocket, you carry it tip up, and when you pull this out of your pocket, it catches on your blade. So what happens is you have a, you have a very, very fast opening of the blade. So fast actually that when you learn to pull your blade from your pocket this way, it actually is faster than any blade mechanism there is. All blades you have to pull out and then manually open, pull out, and they hit a button and then they open. This one, as soon as it clears the pocket, it's open. Yeah, when I got this knife, for whatever reason, the uh, the blade did not want to come out easy. It was not smooth whatsoever. I don't know if that was because of lube, maybe, lack thereof, quality control, I'm not real sure. But I did have to take this tension screw, loosen it, and then adjust to where my, uh, my desired opening was. As you can see, there's, there's no blade plate out at all in this blade. As you can see, there's there's no blade play, no wiggle, no side to side, so that's very nice. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not, but you can see the uh, the Kershaw logo there with Emerson's logo, that little skull. The skull is also found on the back, on the pocket clip. You'll find some jimping here on the uh, top of the blade and the top of the uh, the handle. There's also some on the bottom of the, of the handle. I guess if you're going to be possibly re reverse grip, I'm not real sure. 
it's kind of kind of a weird position. I have fairly uh, decent sized hands. I wear large gloves. Um, and the one thing I like in a knife, I don't like a, a handle being real small. I like to be able to have a full full purchase, a full grip on the blade or on the handle. So as you can see, my whole hand goes on this knife no problem whatsoever. So that, that I dig. Um, I'm going to read off some stats from the, uh, the actual Kershaw website. Obviously, uh, no mechanical assist, such as the speed safe. It opens the classic old school way, as I said. As far as the lock is concerned, you can see it here, frame lock. This piece of the metal moves over when the blade opens, tensions release and it pops over and it secures the blade so far really well, who knows. But I've had no issues whatsoever. Obviously, the holes, like I said earlier, pre-drilled holes. There's also a lanyard here. You can attach whatever you want, whatever kind of paracord or whatnot. Um, like I said, the uh, opening is the thumb disc. It's basically just a little metal disc with a Phillips screw. The steel in the blade, it is 8CR14MOV, stone wash and satin finish. The handle, obviously textured G10, and 410B blasted finish on the back of the blade, or back of the handle, I should say. The blade length itself, is 3.25 inches. Closed length is going to be four and a half inches. And then together, open and close, we're looking at seven and three quarters inches. So. I'm not sure where you live. Some places you have a blade lower than or shorter than three inches. This is three and a quarter. And then the weight on the blade or the itself, the knife, is five ounces. So I myself like having a blade with a little bit of weight. I mean, you do notice that there's a little bit of, you know, there's a knife in your pocket when you have when you carry this, but. I know nothing fancy has the four ounce rule, but four ounce blade, then you, you might carry a, a pound and a half firearm. So, whatever. But that's the review of the Kershaw CQC7K. Oh, lastly, one last thing. Um, MSRP on this blade is sixty dollars through Kershaw which is as anything is very high with any MSRP if you go to amazon.com you can find this for about thirty bucks so definitely for thirty dollars I think it's a it's a well-made knife very good quality how does it compare to a actual Emerson I don't know I don't have one not yet at least Pretty sharp right out of the box. So, all right. Thank you for watching. One thing I forgot to mention about this blade also, it's a fairly new blade. I've only had this thing maybe a month. I do EDC it, but like all my blades, I EDC, um, kind of round robin, just whatever I feel like carrying that day is what I carry. Um, my favorite blade that I carry 
of all, which I'll be doing a review, is my SOG Vulcan. This is the favorite blade I carry. Actually, my favorite blade that I own. But that review will come later.